Today is a really monumental day for not just the engineering team, but SOI as an organisation because in a very short period of time we've concepted, designed and manufactured this vehicle as well as all the support systems that go with it. And we take her off to do some proper immoral testing at Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. The vehicle's been in the same place in the factory for the past three or four weeks now. It's had the umbilical cable connected across the roof to our power distribution unit. This morning when we're taking the vehicle, we've got to disassemble all of these parts before we pack the vehicle into the container. So we have to unterminate the umbilical cable and feed it back through the vehicle. Today basically started out as we had to prepare the vehicle for shipping and transit. I mean, we're only going to Embar, which is only a couple hours away, but the vehicle still could get damaged from vibration and movement inside that container. So last preparations on the vehicle was really securing cables, hoses down, to making sure that there was not going to be any abrasion on any of that stuff. Then from there, we had to get it into the container, which the struggle there is it's, it just fits in the container. Trying to balance a 7,000 pound, multi-million dollar vehicle on the end of a forklift into a container and having to hit points so perfectly is a very delicate balance. So all of us were kind of at our eyes in there and making sure it was going to go just as planned. And it did, so everything went really smoothly and we did it in about 50 minutes, half an hour, and it was all good. During our time at Embari, we'll slowly tether the vehicle, we'll maintain her on the, the actual hook of the crane, and then we'll tether her to the bottom of the tank so that, you know, like a training aircraft, you don't just fly it. We've got to make sure that the vehicle reacts how we want it to react. And I want to find as many of those issues and problems that I can at Embari, where it's a controlled environment, before I expose the vehicle to an environment where I have much less control. The biggest thing that we're going to see in the Mbari tank testing is its weight and balance. We'll be able to see its buoyancy. Is it going to sink? Is it going to float? Or is it going to be neutrally buoyant? Is it going to be tilted too far forward or off to the side? So that's really the biggest thing I'm looking forward to seeing and making sure we have under control. When we put the ROV in the water for the first time, it's a bit of a challenge for both mechanical and electrical. The hydraulic systems get submerged, so we have to clean things down before it goes in. And electrically, it's the first time that we have everything surrounded by salt water. So we're likely to start seeing ground faults from instruments that haven't been properly connectorized. It's really great after all of this design effort and the past few months have been really busy building this vehicle. It's great to finally see it swim. So it's going to be, a, I think, a big emotional boost for everyone involved to see it in the tank moving around. <laughs>